Good morning, Tamriel. What a wonderful day. I feel positively full of beans. Good morning, Lydia. How are you doing? Trust you slept well? Standing there? I assume you sleep on your feet because you never seem to move of your own free will? But there we are. Whatever Back works for already? you. already? Follow me. As you will, my Thane. I will protect you with my life. Delighted to hear it. Now, a spot of breakfast, I think. What do we have? Ah. Cheese. Apple. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Lovely. Good morning, Orion. Just enjoying some breakfast yourself. Marvellous. I shan't bother you. Leave you to it. Hello, friends. Hello, hello. Now, I do declare that today will be a day for sanity. Absolutely no madness or encounters with Daedric Princes if we can possibly avoid it. Sound fair? Marvellous. Now, order one of the day. Finally track down those boots that Orion wanted us to find. Ancient Daedric Lord boots, I believe. Somewhere over here. So let's get a carriage to Windhelm. Our favourite city of them all. Lovely day in solitude. Huh? Hmm? Hello, hello. Good morning. Hi there. Hi. Hello, hello, little thing. Very sweet. Doggos. Excuse me. That's one of the lovely things about Skyrim, I think. So full of wonderful dogs. Come on, not again. Did they ever stop attacking? Can I help? I don't really want to get involved if I don't have to. Yes, you seem to be covered. Marvellous. Well done, one and all. Stay sharp. Excellent soldiering. Keep your guard up. Now, hello. Good morning. Good morning. I would like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Windhelm, actually. But I need to remember where that... Is, is it East March? Going straight through, or did you Something want to stop east. somewhere along the way? Yes, Windhelm. Marvellous. Yes, Climb please. Climb back, and we'll be off. Will do. Ever been to Windhelm? Oldest city in Skyrim by some account. They say the big old palace there was built by Ysgrimor himself. <clears throat> and here we are. Gosh, it's a bit chilly, isn't it? Might just... Take an opportunity to change into something a bit warmer and better protected. Just uh, hide behind these trees. Lydia, if you could avert your eyes, that would be marvellous. Here we are. Marvellous. And my cloak. Ooh, backpack on. That would be useful. And a hood. Splendid! Ready to go. What do you think, Lydia? How do I look? Yes, Lucian, my Thane. You look amazing. Why, thank you, Lydia. You're too kind. Have a little nibble of some food. Mm. Right. Right. Where are we going? Uh, if this is the city of Windhelm, we wanted to go east from it, so we want to head sort of this way. Hopefully we won't freeze to death. Now, Lydia, if I'm not mistaken, that up there is the shrine Orion sent us to find. So, let's head on up there. I would suggest being quiet if you can. Chances are it isn't unoccupied. If we're stealthy, we might be able to just meet him, grab the boots, and nip out without anyone being any the wiser. Looks hopeful. 
Anybody around? Oh. Seems deserted. Ugh, what on earth went on here? Nothing good by the looks of it. Daedra cultists, honestly. <gasps> Idiot! Look! I think that is a hunger. Nasty Daedra. They'll rip you apart and drink your blood. My mother had a nasty run-in with some of them at the end of the Great War. But that's a story for another time. No, I think if we can get the drop on this one, that would be a great benefit. Here we go. Got it. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, we upset it. Uh, uh, news. Uh, I might have a scroll that could come in handy. As much as I hate summoning these things, I think a golden saint archer might be rather useful. What was that? Yes, it's a hunger. If you could kill it, that would be great. Marvellous work. Well done, madam. You all right, Lydia? Yes, I know. Rather terrifying, isn't it? The question is, are there any more? That doesn't sound good. Ugh. Ugh, the smell. What's in here? The book? I'll take that with me, I suppose. Alchemy lab, sort of shrine. So if you could moan a bit more quietly, <laughs> that'd be great. I don't suppose it's just the one hunger here. Oh, bodies. <gasps> yeah, there's another one. Are you ready? Let's take it out. <laughs> Alright, abandon us just when we need you. <laughs> Got it! Come on. Here it comes. <laughs> nice work. Very well done. Ugh, disgusting. Right, is that it? Did we sort it? Nobody else around, just this weird killer thing. Glows. Slightly reluctant to get too much closer. Oof. Weird. Ah, but these are the boots we're here for. So I'll take those, and, um, mesmerizing, really. Great hums, calling me to reach out and... No, no, I'm, I'm not going to touch that. That, um, that doesn't seem good. No, Lydia, definitely don't you touch it either. There's dark magic there. I think the sooner we're away from here, the better, really. Let's head back to solitude. Here we are. Now, usual question, where has Orion gone to? He wasn't here. Oh, but of course he does rather like to wander. Orion, where are you? Orion? Here we go again. Orion? 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 Are you in here? Orion, where are you? Ah, there you are. Amazing. Simply amazing. Oh, you're not. You're not Orion, you. You must be a guest! Hello! So, what do you think of our museum? Not a bad place to pass some time. You have quite the collection here. I've been so impressed, in fact, that I've sent along a contribution or two to the curing. Marvellous! That's most kind. Thank you very much for that. Not at all, friend. Glad to help out. It's really amazing what you two are doing here, after all. <laughs> it's wonderful to be appreciated. Oh, I don't suppose you've actually seen Orion. Amazing. No. Simply amazing. Maybe not. Here you are. How long have you been here? Do you have a question? I looked in here. I definitely <laughs> looked in here already. Do 
didn't I? I thought I did. Oh well, I've got you now. Hello. Ah, good day, my friend. I have found the ancient Daedric Lord boots. Ah, splendid. Nice find, my friend. Here's a little something for your efforts. I'll go ahead and display it. Marvelous. Thank you very much. Most generous. Greetings. Well then, I'll see you later. Farewell. Right, oh then, Lydia, bedtime for me. It's been another long day of adventuring. Still here. You can wait in your spot. I will remain on guard spot. here. Yes, you you remain on guard. You stand there. You do a great job of standing. Wonderful. I will head to bed. Good night. See you in the morning. Lucian? Lucian, are you there? I can't tell if you can hear me. That's the problem with trying to do this through a dream. Oh, by the divines. Lucian, if you're hearing this, I need you to go to... Oh, my head. That was the strangest dream. Like someone was trying to talk to me, but quite what they were saying, or who was doing the talking, I can't remember. Funny how dreams slip away. Oh well, it must just be one of those things, but I can't shake the feeling that it was important somehow. Oh well. Good morning, Lydia. Just read a pleasant stand. Back already? Yes, uh, follow me. As you command, my thane. Right, what are we going to do today? That's the question. What to do? Don't really have any more assignments from Orion. And nothing pressing from anyone asking us for help. Apart from those two rather odd conversations we had before. One was that Khajiit who came up and was chatting to us about magic falling from the sky in the sea of ghosts. He was absolutely crackers, so I don't think we need to worry too much about that. But the other thing was that letter. You know, the con. The whole riches beyond imagining thing. Dwarven ruins in the reach. I did dismiss it at the time because, you know, it seemed obviously rather shifty, but I suppose we've got nothing better to do. It might be worth going along to have a look. I mean, dwarven ruins are rather fascinating, and if nothing else, it would be nice to have a look at them. And I guess if we can put a stop to some kind of bandit con at the same time, well, that's just a plus. So off we go. I think we're heading in the right direction. Getting rather chilly with all this snow, but that's Skyrim for you. Do keep up, Lydia. Let's take a look at the map. Yes, we need to sort of try and peel around to the right now if we possibly can. Mountains in the way. See what we can do. Hello, goats. Yes, you're very friendly. Ah, and a saber cat. Less friendly. I think we're probably going to have to fight it. Stay back. I'm warning you, sir. I've got a shout ready. Can I just get past? I just really need to get past. Can I just edge? Can I just edge? I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. This is as close as I want to get. Oh, no, nope. Oh! Sorry, 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 sorry. Takes care of that. So sorry. So sorry. Right. What's this round here? Not more people who are going to attack me. No. Right. We'll just steer well clear. In fact, it looks like it might be an old stronghold. Remarkable, but they're also known for being somewhat unfriendly. I think we'll leave them to crack on. Around to the right, sort of this way. Ah, 
Hello. You there, uh, citizen. This area is off limits. Off limits? You're interfering with the imperial business. Yeah, so you'll have to pay us a fine. Say, a hundred gold. Pay up, citizen. Um... Fair enough. Yes, uh, certainly. I, 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 I'm, I'm... Let it never be said that a Flavius won't cooperate with an imperial soldier. Here, take it. The, uh, emperor thanks you. Now shove off. Ah, certainly, sir. Uh, rather, have a nice day, citizen. Right ho. Marvellous. Uh, you carry on doing your good work. Yes. Ah, oh, lovely to see the Imperial Legion out and about. Didn't realise I was trespassing. There you go. Ah. That's interesting. A rather big ruin. Is that the one we're looking for? Could be. Although it's a bit far away. I don't actually know that that is what we're after, although it does look fascinating and certainly merits checking out sometime. Now I think the ruins we're looking for, somewhere around here? Yes, down there. Oh, rather chilly. I can just get behind the waterfall. Ah, soaking. Right, here we are. My word, this is fascinating. Look at it. Actual ancient dwarven engineering. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, now this... Ah, hello. That's close enough. Who are you? Uh, I, I, I'm Lucian Flavius. I assume you're Cassia? I got your letter? Oh, it's you. I'm so glad you're here. Look, I don't know how much time we have left. My brother went down the shaft a few days ago and I'm worried. Yes. I need you to go in after him and bring him back to me alive. It could be dangerous, but if anyone can do it, it's you. Now, are you ready? Well, if we could just discuss this a little bit further. I mean, I know you seem to be rather busy hitting these bits of Dwarven Ruin with your hammer, uh, which is all well and good. Seems like a strange thing to be doing if you're worrying so much about your brother, but I won't judge you for it. I do have some questions. All right, but please hurry. Uh, just uh, question one. Who are you? My name's Cassia. My brother and I came to Skyrim from Cyrodiil with the Imperial Legion, but we took a break to explore these ruins. Right. So you're both deserters then? We didn't want to get involved in this stupid war in the first place. There's no need for swords. We only came here because we were conscripted. Right. But our unit was wiped out by Nords and those forsworn savages. And we saw a chance to get away from the fighting altogether. So we took it. All right. That's that's a thing which I won't, I won't discuss with you. If you're pointing the sword at me like that, that's fine. But um, what did happen here exactly? Well, we came here hoping to find something valuable to pay for carriage back to Cyrodiil. Altrius went down the shaft, but he asked me to stay here. Uh, uh, just out of interest, why did you send for me, of all people? I was in Markarth looking for help. When I heard people talking about you and all the loot you've been trading with merchants all over Skyrim. Right. I figured you'd be interested in exploring these ruins, so I asked a courier to track you down. And here you are. Yes, uh, well, I apologize for the delay. I actually, um, when I got your letter, I just assumed this was a con. Really? I thought bandits would probably leap out and murder me as soon as I arrived. But you seem rather genuine, uh, so I suppose... Suppose I can help you find your brother? I mean, why haven't you gone down there yourself? Because he made me promise I'd stay here and wait for him no matter what. And I keep my promises. Well, except as far as the Legion is concerned. Yes, quite. Well, that's all the questions I had. So you're ready to go now? Um, yes, I suppose. I knew I could count on you. Now quickly, go! Righto. Um, let's just have a quick look at where exactly we're going. Uh, we have a shaft, which is where Cassia said her brother went. Oh, and it's, uh, ooh, gosh, rather deep. You, you, what, you, we just jump down, do we? Is that, is that the thing? Ah, look, there's a book here. If you are reading this, you stand at the entrance to an ancient dwarven city. No doubt you have never heard of it. 
for in all my travels and all my study, I have never read of it in any text, save for the inscription here. It reads, Those who seek refuge will find peace here, basking in the sun under the ground. Those who seek gold will find riches beyond imagining, but will pay for this folly with their lives, for there is no return to the world of man. Is it possible there is life down there? Is it possible the dwarves are still alive after all this time? As I stand here on this precipice, war raging all over Tamriel, my mind is made up. Today I take a leap of faith. Beloved reader, perhaps one day you will join me. Consider this an invitation, or a warning. Right, now that is rather interesting. No return to the realm of man, indeed. Uh, and that will be the Dwarven inscription that says all that, yes, right. Um, I would quite like to return to the realm of man, you know, if that was at all possible. I would be rather keen. If there's any other clues around here suggesting what I should be doing. Ah, oh, that's probably your chest, Cassie. I'll leave that there. Um... It's rather fascinating, isn't it? I mean, the dwarves built all of this. This whole place. And they dug a shaft. That deep, straight down. And with the water, this whole business of a leap of faith. You know, one can only go down there if you trust that you're going to survive and you trust that there'll be something on the other end worth jumping down for. Isn't that fascinating? I mean, why would they do that? Why would they set up a test like this? Oh well, I suppose it'll just have to be one of those mysteries. No, as tempting as it is, I'm afraid this one isn't for me. This is one pit that I won't be jumping down.